From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Kendall Smith. All right, well, we knew that it was going to be a soggy week ahead, but it's actually not equated to as much rainfall as we thought we were originally going to see just about a week ago. So right now, here's our three day observed rainfall total. So we have seen anywhere from three tenths of an inch here in the metro, upwards of four to five inches of rain in Osage County, and then down along the Red River. That's exactly where that bullseye really lined up five inches down near Idabel. So right now we're still adding to those values as we take a look on radar. We started off very soggy this morning and the good news is that that rain and thunderstorm activity starting to taper off as we head into the afternoon. So right now this current system is lifting up to the north. So we do have a little bit of spotty shower activity here in the Tulsa Metro stretching from Winona down to Keystone Lake and Sepulpa. And there's also just a little batch coming right through downtown Tulsa, Broken Arrow and Kuita and Bixby. And this is going to continue to be the trend throughout the afternoon. So it's off and on spotty showers and storms. Not everyone is going to see the rain. I do want to note that, but just make sure to have that rain gear close by just in case you do get stuck in a stray shower or a storm. But this is taking a live look out in downtown Tulsa where temperatures are currently coming in at 72 degrees. Winds are light out of the east around nine miles an hour. Our humidity is at 79% and our dew point is at 65 and also our pressure is falling at this time. So across the state, we're seeing similar temperatures. It is just a little bit cooler where that rain has rolled through. So upper 60s off in Pawnee and Pawhuska, Bartlesville, 72 in Coffeyville, Kansas. 73 in Vanita. We're looking at 72 as well in Tahlequah and 70 at this time down in McAllister. So where are we going from here? Well, by this afternoon, we are going to continue to warm things up and see afternoon highs topping out in the mid to upper 70s most locations. But unfortunately, we will be dealing with those stubborn clouds. So overcast skies all day long and spotty showers and scattered thunderstorms as we head throughout the afternoon and evening. And winds are going to pick up as well out of the southeast and they could be a little bit breezy by this afternoon. So highs, afternoon highs in the mid to upper 70s spotty showers. This is what we are going to see in a few isolated thunderstorms, especially down along I 40 into the south. This is stopping this at four o'clock and then that is going to taper off as we head into the evening time frame. So we'll see a lull in the activity all ahead of our next upper level system that will slide through the area. So what we're looking at around midnight, some more showers and thunderstorms. This is that next wave that is going to continue to lift northward and it is going to be a stormy overnight time frame. So you might be woken up as we have some thunder and lightning associated with this storm system and then by tomorrow morning we are going to see just showers so that will transition over to just spotty showers temperatures will start off in the mid to upper 60s and then by tomorrow afternoon you guessed it we are tracking more showers and thunderstorms as afternoon highs tomorrow top out in the upper 70s in most locations so we are going to continue to watch this shower and thunderstorm activity but right now nothing is severe it's really just going to be a heavy rain maker. So our rain zone for today is mainly going to be located off to the east of Tulsa. So heavier amounts are going to fall along the state line. We're in a moderate category for us here in Tulsa, but then this is going to shift as we head into Friday. So lighter amounts for Tulsa to the east and then heavier amounts for Tulsa to the west. That's how it's all playing out for us as we head into the next couple of days. But over the next week, we could pick up anywhere from one to two more inches of rain and then up to the north of Tulsa, we could see anywhere from two to three more inches of rain. So we're not not quite done with the rain just yet. So by this afternoon, highs will top out in the upper 70s, mid 70s by around 8 and 9 o'clock this evening, and then we'll start off tomorrow morning in the mid 60s. So have that rain gear on hand. We do still have chances for often showers and thunderstorms, but then we start to dry out as we head into the weekend and warm things back up into the 80s.